The U.S. Federal Reserve, often referred to as the Fed, has made a significant move, cutting interest rates in a move that has sent ripples through the global economy. This decision, closely watched by investors, businesses, and consumers alike, raises a crucial question, what's next for the U.S. economy? Join us as we delve into the intricacies of this rate cut, exploring its potential impact and what it could mean for the future. The Fed's actions are often compared to those of a maestro leading an orchestra, carefully adjusting the tempo and tone of the economy. This recent rate cut, however, has taken many by surprise, coming at a time when the economy seemed to be humming along steadily. To understand the potential ramifications of this decision, we need to first understand the Fed's role and the factors that led to this unexpected move. Fasten your seatbelts as we embark on a journey through the complex world of economics, demystifying jargon and shedding light on the forces that shape our financial landscape. We'll explore historical precedents, analyze current economic indicators, and consider the potential consequences of this pivotal decision. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge and insights to navigate the exciting, ever-evolving world of finance. To understand the potential impact of the Fed's recent rate cut, it's helpful to look back at history. Past instances of rate cuts offer valuable lessons, providing a glimpse into how the economy might respond this time around. By examining previous scenarios, we can identify patterns and potential outcomes, gaining a clearer picture of what the future might hold. One notable example is the Fed's response to the 2008 financial crisis. Facing a rapidly deteriorating economic landscape, the Fed implemented a series of aggressive rate cuts, slashing interest rates to near zero in an attempt to stimulate borrowing and spending. While these actions ultimately helped to avert a complete economic collapse, the recovery was slow and uneven. Another historical parallel can be drawn to the period following the dot-com bubble burst in the early 2000s. The Fed responded to the ensuing recession with a series of rate cuts, which helped to cushion the blow and eventually paved the way for a recovery. However, the recovery was gradual, and it took several years for the economy to regain its pre-recession strength. These historical examples highlight the complexities of monetary policy and the challenges of predicting the future with certainty. While past rate cuts have generally been followed by periods of economic expansion, the timing and strength of these recoveries have varied. The current economic landscape, with its unique set of challenges and opportunities, adds further layers of complexity to the equation. The Fed's decision to cut interest rates was not made in a vacuum. This move was the result of a complex interplay of various economic indicators and global events that necessitated a careful and calculated response. A confluence of factors, both domestic and global, likely played a role in this pivotal decision. The global economic landscape has been fraught with challenges, and the Fed had to consider these in its deliberations. To understand the rationale behind the rate cut, we need to delve into the data and decipher the economic signals that may have influenced the Fed's thinking. This involves looking at a range of indicators, from inflation rates to employment figures, and understanding how these interact with broader global trends. One key indicator that the Fed monitors closely is inflation. Inflation is a critical measure of economic health, reflecting the rate at which prices for goods and services rise over time. Inflation, the rate at which prices for goods and services rise over time, can erode purchasing power and stifle economic growth. When inflation is too high, it can lead to a decrease in the value of money, making everyday goods and services more expensive for consumers. Recent data suggests that inflation has remained relatively subdued, potentially giving the Fed more leeway to cut rates without fueling excessive price increases. This subdued inflation environment means that the Fed can focus on other areas of the economy that may need support. Another factor that likely weighed on the Fed's decision is the slowdown in global economic growth. The interconnected nature of today's global economy means that a slowdown in one region can have ripple effects worldwide. Trade tensions, 
geopolitical uncertainty, and slowing growth in major economies like China have all contributed to a less favorable global economic outlook. These factors create a challenging environment for businesses and investors, leading to cautious behavior that can further slow economic activity. By cutting interest rates, the Fed aims to stimulate domestic demand and potentially offset some of the weakness emanating from abroad. Lower interest rates can make borrowing cheaper, encouraging both consumers and businesses to spend and invest more. Furthermore, the Fed may have been concerned about the potential negative impact of uncertainty on business investment and consumer spending. Uncertainty can be a significant drag on economic activity as businesses delay investments and consumers hold back on spending. Ongoing trade disputes and political gridlock can create an environment of uncertainty, making businesses hesitant to invest and consumers reluctant to spend. This hesitation can lead to slower economic growth and reduced job creation. By cutting rates, the Fed aims to boost confidence and encourage businesses and consumers to open their wallets. Increased spending and investment can help to drive economic growth and create jobs, providing a much-needed boost to the economy. In addition to these factors, the Fed likely considered the potential impact of its decision on financial markets. Financial markets are highly sensitive to changes in interest rates, and the Fed's actions can have significant effects on stock prices and investor behavior. Lower interest rates tend to boost stock prices and make borrowing cheaper for businesses which can stimulate economic activity. When businesses can borrow at lower rates, they are more likely to invest in new projects, hire more workers, and expand their operations. However, excessively low rates can also lead to asset bubbles and financial instability, risks that the Fed must carefully manage. Asset bubbles occur when the prices of assets, such as stocks or real estate, rise to unsustainable levels, creating the potential for a sharp and damaging correction. The Fed has to strike a delicate balance between supporting economic growth and maintaining financial stability. This requires careful analysis and a deep understanding of the complex dynamics at play in the economy. The decision to cut rates is not taken lightly, and the Fed's policymakers weigh a multitude of factors before arriving at their conclusion. They consider not only current economic conditions, but also projections for future growth and potential risks. Economic forecasting is an inherently uncertain endeavor, and the Fed must be prepared to adjust its policies as new data becomes available. This flexibility is crucial in navigating the ever-changing economic landscape. The Fed's decision-making process is informed by a wealth of data and analysis, drawing on the expertise of economists and financial analysts. This rigorous approach helps to ensure that their policies are well-founded and effective. Ultimately, the goal of the Fed's rate cut is to support economic growth and stability, benefiting both businesses and consumers. By making borrowing cheaper and encouraging spending, the Fed aims to create a more favorable economic environment. The impact of the Fed's decision will be felt across the economy, from small business owners looking to expand to families planning their budgets. Lower interest rates can provide a much-needed boost to economic activity, helping to drive growth and create jobs. As the Fed continues to monitor economic conditions, it will remain vigilant and ready to adjust its policies as needed. The path forward is uncertain, but the Fed's commitment to supporting the economy remains steadfast. In conclusion, the Fed's decision to cut interest rates was driven by a complex array of factors, both domestic and global. By understanding these factors, we can gain a clearer picture of the challenges and opportunities facing the economy. The Fed's actions are a critical component of economic policy, and their decisions have far-reaching implications. As we move forward, it will be essential to continue monitoring economic developments and adjusting policies to support growth and stability. The journey ahead may be challenging, but with careful analysis and thoughtful policy decisions, the Fed aims to navigate these complexities and foster a resilient and prosperous economy for all. The U.S. economy, like a ship navigating choppy waters, faces a confluence of headwinds and tailwinds that will shape its course in the months and years to come. Just as a ship must contend with unpredictable weather patterns, the economy must navigate through a myriad of factors that can either propel it forward or hinder its progress. 
These factors are multifaceted, ranging from international trade dynamics to domestic economic policies, and understanding them is crucial for anyone looking to grasp the future economic landscape. Understanding these factors is crucial for deciphering the potential impact of the Fed's recent rate cut and anticipating what lies ahead. The Federal Reserve's decisions on interest rates are among the most closely watched economic events as they influence borrowing costs, consumer spending, and business investment. By lowering rates, the Fed aims to stimulate economic activity, but the effectiveness of this policy move depends on a variety of external and internal factors. One significant headwind is the ongoing trade war between the United States and China. This trade conflict has been a major source of uncertainty for businesses around the world. The imposition of tariffs on a wide range of goods has disrupted supply chains, increased costs for manufacturers, and led to retaliatory measures that have further complicated international trade relations. The imposition of tariffs and the threat of further escalation have created uncertainty for businesses, disrupted supply chains, and weighed on global trade. Companies that rely on international supply chains have had to navigate increased costs and delays, which can affect their profitability and competitiveness. This uncertainty can also lead to reduced investment, as businesses may be hesitant to commit to new projects or expansions in an unpredictable trade environment. While there have been recent signs of progress in trade talks, the situation remains fluid and could easily shift back towards confrontation. The negotiations between the U.S. and China are complex and involve a wide range of issues, from intellectual property rights to market access. Even if a temporary agreement is reached, underlying tensions and unresolved issues could lead to future conflicts, keeping the business environment uncertain. Another challenge facing the U.S. economy is slowing global growth. The interconnected nature of the global economy means that economic slowdowns in other regions can have a ripple effect on the U.S. For example, reduced demand from Europe and Asia can lead to lower exports for American companies, which can, in turn, affect their revenues and employment levels. Economic activity in Europe and Asia has weakened in recent months, partly due to the trade war and other geopolitical factors. In Europe, issues such as Brexit and political instability in several countries have contributed to economic uncertainty. In Asia, slowing growth in China and other major economies has raised concerns about the region's economic outlook. These factors can lead to reduced consumer and business confidence, further dampening economic activity. This slowdown in global demand could spill over into the U.S. economy, potentially offsetting some of the stimulative effects of the Fed's rate cut. If American companies face reduced demand for their products abroad, they may cut back on production and investment which can lead to job losses and slower economic growth domestically. This interconnectedness highlights the importance of a stable global economic environment for the health of the U.S. economy. On the domestic front, the U.S. economy faces the challenge of rising income inequality. Despite overall economic growth, the benefits have not been evenly distributed. While some individuals and regions have seen significant gains, others have been left behind leading to a widening gap between the wealthy and the poor. While the unemployment rate remains near historic lows, wage growth has been sluggish for many workers. This disparity means that even though more people are employed, their purchasing power has not increased significantly. This can limit consumer spending, which is a critical component of economic growth. Additionally, stagnant wages can lead to increased financial stress for many households, affecting their overall well-being and economic stability. This disparity in income growth can lead to social unrest and weaken consumer spending, which is a key driver of economic growth. When large segments of the population feel left out of economic progress, it can lead to increased social tensions and political instability. Moreover, if consumers are not confident in their financial future, they may cut back on spending, which can slow down economic activity and growth. However, amidst these challenges, there are also tailwinds that could propel the U.S. economy forward. Despite the headwinds, there are several positive factors that could support continued economic growth. These include strong consumer spending, technological innovation, and a resilient financial system. One such tailwind is the strength of the U.S. consumer. Consumer spending accounts for a significant portion of the U.S. economy, 
and when consumers are confident and willing to spend, it can drive economic growth. Factors such as low unemployment, rising wages, and high consumer confidence can support robust consumer spending. With unemployment low and wages gradually rising, consumers have more disposable income, which they can spend or invest, further fueling economic growth. When people have more money in their pockets, they are more likely to make purchases, whether it's dining out, buying a new car, or investing in home improvements. This increased spending can boost demand for goods and services, leading to higher production and job creation. Another positive factor is the continued strength of the U.S. technology sector. The tech industry has been a major driver of economic growth in recent years, thanks to its innovation and ability to create new markets and opportunities. From Silicon Valley to tech hubs across the country, the sector continues to attract investment and talent. Innovation in areas like artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and biotechnology is creating new industries, generating jobs, and driving economic growth. These technologies have the potential to transform various sectors, from manufacturing to healthcare, leading to increased efficiency and productivity. As companies invest in these cutting-edge technologies, they can create high-paying jobs and spur further economic development. The dynamism and entrepreneurial spirit of the U.S. tech sector remain a bright spot in the global economy. The U.S. has a unique ecosystem that supports innovation, including access to venture capital, a skilled workforce, and a culture that encourages risk-taking and entrepreneurship. This environment has enabled the growth of numerous successful startups and tech giants, contributing to the overall strength of the economy. The interplay of these various headwinds and tailwinds will determine the ultimate impact of the Fed's rate cut and shape the trajectory of the U.S. economy in the months and years to come. The economic landscape is complex and constantly evolving, influenced by a wide range of factors both domestically and internationally. Policymakers, businesses, and investors must carefully monitor these developments to make informed decisions and navigate the challenges and opportunities ahead. Understanding these forces is crucial for investors, businesses, and policymakers alike as they navigate this complex and evolving economic landscape. By staying informed and adaptable, they can better position themselves to respond to changes and capitalize on opportunities, ultimately contributing to a more resilient and prosperous economy. Section 5. The Global Stage – International Implications of the Rate Cut The recent decision by the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates has sent ripples across the global financial landscape, affecting economies far and wide. In this section, we will delve into the multifaceted implications of this rate cut on the international stage. The U.S. economy, like a planet in a vast and interconnected solar system, exerts a powerful gravitational pull on the rest of the world. Its influence is felt in every corner of the globe, from bustling financial hubs to emerging markets. The Fed's recent rate cut, therefore, has significant implications for the global economy, influencing everything from currency valuations to investment flows and economic growth in countries far beyond U.S. borders. The Fed's decision to lower interest rates is akin to a pebble being dropped into a pond, creating waves that spread outwards. One immediate impact of the rate cut is the weakening of the U.S. dollar. As the value of the dollar decreases, it sets off a chain reaction in the global currency markets. A weaker dollar can have both positive and negative effects on different economies. For instance, it can make U.S. exports more competitive on the global market, as American goods become cheaper for foreign buyers. This can boost the U.S. manufacturing sector and support job creation. However, it also raises the cost of imported goods for American consumers, leading to potential inflationary pressures. As interest rates in the U.S. fall relative to those in other countries, investors seeking higher returns may shift their funds out of dollar-denominated assets and into those denominated in other currencies. This capital movement can lead to increased volatility in global financial markets as investors reallocate their portfolios in response to changing interest rate differentials. The impact on trade is another critical aspect to consider. A weaker dollar can make U.S. exports more competitive, potentially boosting demand for American products abroad. 
This can be a boon for U.S. manufacturers and exporters, helping to reduce the trade deficit. On the flip side, the higher cost of imported goods can squeeze American consumers' purchasing power, leading to changes in consumption patterns. The rate cut also has implications for emerging markets, many of which have borrowed heavily in U.S. dollars. A weaker dollar can make it easier for these countries to service their debts as their local currencies appreciate relative to the dollar. This can provide much needed relief for countries struggling with high levels of external debt. However, the situation is not without risks. A weaker dollar may lead to capital flight if investors perceive increased risk in emerging markets. This can result in higher borrowing costs and financial instability in these economies. Additionally, the shift in capital flows can create challenges for emerging market central banks as they strive to maintain financial stability and support economic growth. Furthermore, the Fed's decision could put pressure on other central banks around the world to follow suit and cut their own interest rates. This is particularly true in countries whose economies are closely tied to the U.S., such as Canada and Mexico. These countries may feel compelled to lower their rates to maintain competitive exchange rates and support their own economic growth. In Canada and Mexico, the economic ties with the U.S. are particularly strong due to trade agreements and geographic proximity. A rate cut by the Fed can lead to similar actions by the Bank of Canada and the Bank of Mexico as they seek to align their monetary policies with that of the U.S. This coordinated easing of monetary policy could help to support global growth, but also raises concerns about a potential race to the bottom in interest rates. The global financial system is a delicate balance, and the actions of one major central bank can have far-reaching consequences. The coordinated easing of monetary policy by multiple central banks can provide a short-term boost to global growth, but it also carries risks. Prolonged periods of low interest rates can lead to asset bubbles, increased risk-taking, and financial imbalances. The rate cut also highlights the increasingly interconnected nature of the global economy. In today's world, decisions made by policymakers in one country can have ripple effects that are felt around the world. This interconnectedness underscores the importance of international cooperation and coordination in managing the global economy and mitigating shared risks. The ripple effects of the Fed's rate cut are not limited to financial markets and trade. They also extend to geopolitical considerations. For instance, countries that are heavily reliant on exports to the U.S. may need to adjust their economic policies in response to changes in U.S. demand. This can lead to shifts in global trade patterns and alliances. This interconnectedness underscores the importance of international cooperation and coordination in managing the global economy and mitigating shared risks. The G20 summit, for example, provides a platform for world leaders to discuss and coordinate their economic policies. Such forums are crucial in ensuring that the global economy remains stable and resilient in the face of shocks. In an increasingly multipolar world, where economic power is more evenly distributed, the actions of the U.S. Federal Reserve no longer hold the same sway they once did. Emerging economic powers such as China, India, and Brazil are playing a more significant role in the global economy. Their monetary policies and economic decisions are becoming increasingly influential. However, the U.S. economy remains the largest in the world, and the Fed's decisions continue to have significant global implications. The interconnected nature of the global economy means that changes in U.S. monetary policy can have a cascading effect on other economies. This is why it is essential for investors, businesses, and policymakers to closely monitor the actions of the Federal Reserve. Understanding these global interconnections is crucial for investors, businesses, and policymakers alike as they navigate the complex and ever-evolving landscape of the global economy. By staying informed and adapting to changes in the global financial environment, they can better manage risks and seize opportunities. The Fed's rate cut is a reminder of the intricate web of connections that define our world today and the importance of staying attuned to the global economic pulse. Section 6. The Balancing Act – Navigating Growth and Inflation 
The Federal Reserve, in its role as the guardian of the U.S. economy, faces a delicate balancing act. This institution, often referred to simply as the Fed, is tasked with the monumental responsibility of steering the economic ship of the United States through both calm and turbulent waters. Its decisions ripple through every facet of the economy, influencing everything from the cost of borrowing money to the prices of goods and services. Its mandate is twofold, to promote maximum employment and stable prices. These two objectives, while seemingly straightforward, are deeply interconnected and sometimes in conflict. Maximum employment means that as many people as possible are working, contributing to the economy, and earning wages. Stable prices, on the other hand, mean that the cost of goods and services does not fluctuate wildly, preserving the purchasing power of consumers. These two goals, however, can sometimes be at odds with each other, requiring the Fed to carefully calibrate its policies to achieve the right balance between stimulating economic growth and keeping inflation in check. For instance, policies that boost employment might also lead to higher inflation if not managed carefully. Conversely, measures to control inflation might slow down economic growth and increase unemployment. Economic growth, typically measured by the increase in gross domestic product, is essential for creating jobs, boosting incomes, and improving living standards. When the economy grows, businesses expand, new companies are formed, and more jobs are created. This growth leads to higher incomes and better living standards for the population. However, this growth must be sustainable and balanced to avoid overheating the economy. However, if growth becomes too rapid, it can lead to inflation, as businesses raise prices and workers demand higher wages. This phenomenon, known as demand-pull inflation, occurs when the demand for goods and services exceeds their supply, causing prices to rise. Additionally, cost-push inflation can occur when the costs of production increase, leading businesses to pass on these costs to consumers in the form of higher prices. Inflation, if left unchecked, can erode purchasing power, discourage investment, and ultimately undermine economic growth. When prices rise too quickly, the value of money decreases, meaning consumers can buy less with the same amount of money. This erosion of purchasing power can lead to decreased consumer spending, which is a critical driver of economic growth. Furthermore, high inflation can create uncertainty, discouraging businesses from investing in new projects and hiring new employees. The Fed's primary tool for managing this balancing act is its control over interest rates. By adjusting the federal funds rate, which is the interest rate at which banks lend to each other overnight, the Fed can influence the broader economy. This rate serves as a benchmark for other interest rates, including those for mortgages, car loans, and business loans. By raising interest rates, the Fed can cool down an overheating economy, making it more expensive for businesses to borrow and invest and for consumers to spend. Higher interest rates increase the cost of borrowing, which can reduce spending and investment. This, in turn, can help to slow down economic growth and reduce inflationary pressures. Conversely, by lowering interest rates, the Fed can stimulate economic activity, making it cheaper to borrow and invest and encouraging consumers to spend more freely. Lower interest rates reduce the cost of borrowing, which can boost spending and investment. This can help to stimulate economic growth, particularly during periods of economic downturn or recession. The recent rate cut suggests that the Fed is prioritizing the goal of supporting economic growth perhaps concerned about the potential impact of slowing global growth and trade tensions. In recent years, global economic conditions have become increasingly interconnected, with trade tensions and geopolitical uncertainties affecting domestic economic performance. By cutting rates, the Fed aims to provide a buffer against these external shocks and support continued economic expansion. However, the Fed must also be mindful of the potential for inflation to accelerate, particularly if the rate cut proves to be too aggressive or if the economy heats up more quickly than anticipated. If inflation rises too quickly, it can undermine the benefits of economic growth and create new challenges for policymakers. The Fed must carefully monitor economic indicators and adjust its policies as needed to maintain a balance between growth and inflation. The Fed's balancing act is further complicated by the fact that monetary policy operates with a lag. 
the effects of changes in interest rates are not immediate and can take time to filter through the economy. This lag means that the full impact of a rate cut or hike may not be felt for several months or even years, making it challenging to predict the precise outcomes of policy changes. The full impact of a rate cut may not be felt for several months or even years, making it difficult to predict the precise impact of policy changes. This lag requires the Fed to be forward-looking, basing its decisions on its assessment of the future path of the economy, rather than simply reacting to current conditions. The Fed must consider a wide range of economic indicators and forecasts to make informed decisions that will support long-term economic stability. This lag requires the Fed to be forward-looking, basing its decisions on its assessment of the future path of the economy, rather than simply reacting to current conditions. The Fed must consider a wide range of economic indicators and forecasts to make informed decisions that will support long-term economic stability. This forward-looking approach involves analyzing trends in employment, inflation, consumer spending, business investment, and global economic conditions. Navigating this complex and ever-changing economic landscape requires the Fed to carefully weigh a multitude of factors, including inflation data, employment figures, consumer confidence, business investment, global economic conditions, and financial market developments. Each of these factors provides valuable insights into the health of the economy and helps to inform the Fed's policy decisions. For example, rising consumer confidence may indicate increased spending, while declining business investment may signal economic uncertainty. The recent rate cut is just one move in this ongoing balancing act, and the Fed will continue to monitor the economy closely, adjusting its policies as needed to fulfill its dual mandate of promoting maximum employment and stable prices. The Fed's actions are guided by a commitment to transparency and accountability, with regular updates and communications to the public and financial markets. This ongoing process of monitoring and adjustment ensures that the Fed can respond to changing economic conditions and support a stable and prosperous economy for all. Section 7. Crystal Ball Gazing – Potential Scenarios for the Future Predicting the future of the economy is a notoriously difficult task, akin to gazing into a cloudy crystal ball. The complexity of economic systems, influenced by countless variables and human behaviors, makes it a challenging endeavor. Economists and analysts often rely on models and historical data, but even these tools have their limitations. The unpredictability of geopolitical events, technological advancements, and natural disasters adds layers of uncertainty. Despite these challenges, it is crucial to attempt to forecast potential scenarios to prepare for various outcomes. However, by analyzing current trends, considering historical precedents, and assessing the potential impact of various factors, we can develop plausible scenarios for what the future might hold for the U.S. economy following the Fed's recent rate cut. This involves a meticulous examination of economic indicators such as GDP growth, unemployment rates, inflation, and consumer spending. Additionally, understanding the global economic landscape, including trade relations and international market dynamics, is essential. By synthesizing this information, we can create a range of possible futures, each with its own set of opportunities and challenges. One possible scenario is a soft landing, where the rate cut provides a gentle boost to the economy, extending the current expansion without triggering a surge in inflation. In this scenario, the economy continues to grow at a moderate pace, avoiding the extremes of boom and bust cycles. Businesses benefit from lower borrowing costs, which encourages investment in new projects and expansion. Consumers, feeling more confident about their financial prospects, increase their spending on goods and services. This balanced growth helps maintain a stable labor market, with job creation keeping pace with the growing workforce. In this scenario, businesses gain confidence, investment picks up, and consumers continue to spend, leading to steady economic growth and a healthy labor market. The positive feedback loop created by increased consumer spending and business investment fosters a sense of optimism. Companies are more likely to hire additional workers, leading to lower unemployment rates. As more people find jobs, household incomes rise, further boosting consumer spending. This virtuous cycle can sustain economic growth over the long term, 
provided that inflation remains in check and external shocks are minimized. Another possibility is a Goldilocks scenario, where the economy experiences strong growth without excessive inflation. This ideal scenario is characterized by a perfect balance between supply and demand, where economic output grows at a healthy rate without overheating. In this environment, businesses thrive and innovation flourishes. The labor market remains robust, with ample job opportunities and rising wages. Consumers enjoy the benefits of a strong economy, with stable prices and increased purchasing power. This scenario represents the best-case outcome, where economic policies and market forces align harmoniously. This ideal scenario would be characterized by robust job creation, rising wages, low unemployment, and stable prices, creating a virtuous cycle of economic prosperity. The benefits of this scenario extend beyond immediate economic gains. A thriving economy can lead to improved public services, better infrastructure, and enhanced quality of life for citizens. Social stability is reinforced as economic disparities are reduced and opportunities for upward mobility increase. Policymakers can focus on long-term investments in education, healthcare, and technology, further strengthening the foundation for sustained growth. However, there are also downside risks to consider. The economy is inherently cyclical, and periods of growth are often followed by downturns. External factors such as geopolitical tensions, natural disasters, or pandemics can disrupt economic stability. Additionally, policy missteps or unforeseen market reactions can exacerbate vulnerabilities. It is essential to remain vigilant and prepared for potential challenges, even in times of prosperity. By understanding the risks, we can develop strategies to mitigate their impact and build resilience against future shocks. One concern is that the rate cut could lead to excessive risk-taking and asset bubbles, particularly in the stock market and real estate. When borrowing costs are low, investors may be tempted to take on more debt to finance speculative investments. This can drive up asset prices beyond their fundamental values, creating bubbles that are unsustainable in the long run. If these bubbles burst, the resulting financial turmoil can have severe consequences for the broader economy. It is crucial to monitor asset markets closely and implement regulatory measures to prevent excessive speculation. If asset prices rise too quickly, it could create a bubble that eventually bursts, leading to a financial crisis and economic downturn. The aftermath of a burst bubble can be devastating, with widespread losses for investors and financial institutions. The resulting loss of confidence can lead to reduced spending and investment, triggering a recession. Policymakers must be proactive in identifying and addressing signs of overheating in asset markets. By promoting transparency and accountability, they can help maintain stability and prevent the formation of dangerous bubbles. Another risk is that the rate cut fails to provide sufficient stimulus to the economy and growth remains sluggish or even stalls. In this scenario, the intended boost from lower interest rates does not materialize, and economic activity remains subdued. Businesses may be hesitant to invest, and consumers may continue to save rather than spend. This lack of momentum can lead to a prolonged period of stagnation, with limited job creation and slow wage growth. Policymakers may need to consider additional measures, such as fiscal stimulus or targeted support for key sectors, to reignite economic growth. This scenario could be driven by factors such as persistent trade tensions, slowing global growth, or a decline in consumer confidence. Trade tensions can disrupt supply chains and reduce export opportunities, weighing on economic performance. Slowing global growth can dampen demand for goods and services, affecting domestic industries. A decline in consumer confidence can lead to reduced spending, further weakening economic activity. Addressing these challenges requires a coordinated approach, with policies aimed at fostering international cooperation, supporting domestic industries, and boosting consumer sentiment. Finally, there is the risk of stagflation, a toxic combination of stagnant economic growth and high inflation. Stagflation is particularly challenging to address because traditional policy tools may be less effective. Efforts to combat inflation, such as raising interest rates, can further suppress economic growth. Conversely, measures to stimulate growth, such as lowering interest rates, can exacerbate inflation. 
policymakers must navigate this delicate balance carefully, using a mix of monetary, fiscal, and structural policies to address the underlying causes of stagflation. This scenario, reminiscent of the 1970s, could be triggered by factors such as supply chain disruptions, rising commodity prices, or a wage price spiral. Supply chain disruptions can lead to shortages of key inputs, driving up production costs and prices. Rising commodity prices, particularly for energy and raw materials, can increase inflationary pressures. A wage price spiral occurs when rising wages lead to higher production costs, which are then passed on to consumers in the form of higher prices, prompting further wage demands. Addressing these issues requires a comprehensive approach, including measures to enhance supply chain resilience, manage commodity price volatility, and promote productivity growth. The ultimate outcome for the U.S. economy will depend on a complex interplay of factors, many of which are difficult to predict with certainty. Economic forecasting is not an exact science, and even the most sophisticated models have limitations. The interconnectedness of global markets means that events in one part of the world can have far-reaching effects. Technological advancements, demographic shifts, and environmental changes add further layers of complexity. By staying informed and adaptable, we can better navigate the uncertainties and seize opportunities as they arise. The Fed's recent rate cut is just one piece of the puzzle, and the path forward remains uncertain. Monetary policy is a powerful tool, but it is not a panacea. It must be complemented by sound fiscal policies, regulatory frameworks, and structural reforms. Collaboration between government agencies, businesses, and communities is essential to build a resilient and inclusive economy. By fostering innovation, investing in education and infrastructure, and promoting sustainable practices, we can create a foundation for long-term prosperity. However, by understanding the potential scenarios and the factors that could drive them, investors, businesses, and policymakers can make more informed decisions and navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Knowledge is a powerful asset in an uncertain world. By staying informed about economic trends and potential risks, we can develop strategies to mitigate adverse impacts and capitalize on emerging opportunities. Collaboration and communication are key to building a resilient economy that can adapt to changing circumstances and thrive in the face of uncertainty. Section 8. Stay tuned. The unfolding story of the U.S. economy. The U.S. economy is a dynamic and ever-evolving entity, constantly shaped by a myriad of factors both domestic and global. From the bustling streets of Wall Street to the quiet corners of small-town America, the economic pulse of the nation beats with a rhythm that is both predictable and surprising. The Fed's recent rate cut is just one chapter in the ongoing story of the U.S. economy, and the plot continues to unfold with each passing day. This decision, like many others, is influenced by a complex web of data, forecasts, and economic theories. The Federal Reserve, often seen as the guardian of the nation's economic stability, plays a pivotal role in steering the economy through turbulent waters. As we move forward, it is crucial to stay informed and engaged, closely monitoring economic indicators, analyzing policy decisions, and understanding the broader context in which these decisions are made. Economic indicators such as GDP growth, unemployment rates, and consumer confidence provide valuable insights into the health of the economy and assessing the potential impact of various events. For instance, a sudden spike in oil prices can ripple through the economy, affecting everything from transportation costs to consumer spending. Similarly, geopolitical events, such as trade wars or political instability in key regions, can have far-reaching consequences. The economic landscape is rarely static, and those who can adapt to changing circumstances and make informed decisions will be best positioned to navigate the challenges and capitalize on the opportunities that lie ahead. Businesses that are agile and responsive to market changes often find themselves at a competitive advantage. The Fed's future actions will also be critical to watch. Their decisions on interest rates, quantitative easing, and other monetary policies can have profound effects on borrowing costs, investment decisions, and overall economic growth. 
Will they cut rates further if the economy weakens? This is a question that many analysts and investors ponder. Lower interest rates can stimulate economic activity by making borrowing cheaper, but they also come with risks, such as potential inflation and asset bubbles. Or will they reverse course and raise rates if inflation accelerates? Inflation, the silent eroder of purchasing power, is a key concern for policymakers. If prices rise too quickly, the Fed may need to step in to cool down the economy, even if it means slowing growth. The Fed's decisions, often made in the face of uncertainty and conflicting data, will have a significant impact on the trajectory of the U.S. economy. These decisions are not made lightly, as they affect millions of Americans and have global repercussions. Beyond the Fed, other factors will also play a crucial role in shaping the economic outlook. The interconnectedness of the global economy means that events in one part of the world can have ripple effects elsewhere. The outcome of trade negotiations, for example, can influence everything from the price of goods on store shelves to the profitability of entire industries. Trade policies and agreements can open up new markets or create barriers that businesses must navigate. The direction of global growth, which is influenced by factors such as technological advancements, demographic shifts, and environmental changes. A slowdown in major economies like China or the European Union can have a cascading effect on the U.S. economy. The pace of technological innovation, which drives productivity and creates new industries while rendering others obsolete. Innovations in fields like artificial intelligence, renewable energy, and biotechnology are reshaping the economic landscape, and the political climate will all influence the path of the U.S. economy. Political decisions, from tax policies to regulatory changes, can have immediate and long-term effects on economic growth and stability. The story of the U.S. economy is a complex and multifaceted one, full of twists, turns, and unexpected developments. It is a narrative shaped by countless actors, from policymakers and business leaders to everyday consumers and workers. By staying informed, engaged, and adaptable, we can better understand the forces at play and make more informed decisions about our own financial well-being and the future of our nation's economy. In an ever-changing world, knowledge and adaptability are our greatest assets. Education and continuous learning are essential in this regard. Understanding basic economic principles and staying updated on current events can empower individuals to make better financial decisions. Community engagement and the local economic initiatives also play a vital role. Local economies are the building blocks of the national economy, and grassroots efforts can lead to significant positive changes. Sustainability and environmental considerations are increasingly important. As the world grapples with climate change, the transition to a green economy presents both challenges and opportunities. The healthcare sector is another critical area. Advances in medical technology and healthcare policies can have profound effects on the economy, influencing everything from workforce productivity to public health expenditures. Looking ahead, the future of the U.S. economy will be shaped by a confluence of factors, some predictable and others unforeseen. By fostering innovation, promoting education, and encouraging civic engagement, we can help steer the economy towards a prosperous and sustainable future. The unfolding story of the U.S. economy is a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of its people. It is a story of challenges met and opportunities seized, of lessons learned and progress made. As we turn the page to the next chapter, let us do so with a sense of optimism and a commitment to building a better future for all. Stay tuned, stay informed, and stay engaged. The story of the U.S. economy is far from over, and each of us has a role to play in shaping its future.